Good morning, y'all. My name is Holly. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Flippin' Friday, and we're going to be doing a collab today with my good friend Jamie over at Board and Bananas and a lot of our friends. And we're actually going to be collabing and doing things from like thrift store flips or just all kind of different projects that we're going to be flipping and giving you lots of ideas and inspiration. And so I'm going to kind of just show you a little bit what I'm going to be doing this morning. And then I'm going to show you a project that I'm going to be flipping. It's going to be something that I showed you in one of my last videos on my thrift store haul. And then whenever you get through watching my video, don't forget to hit the description box down below. And there's going to be links of lots of other ladies that are participating in this collab where you can actually go and follow them, subscribe, give them some thumbs up, and comment and tell them how much that you love their projects and how much that have all inspired you this Friday. So I'm so excited to get this morning started with you all. So we're going to go ahead and get up and go make some breakfast. I've had a very slow morning, thank goodness, because I have been running around like a crazy person for the last few weeks and just go, go, go. And then we're going to have a fun very fun but crazy hectic weekend so this morning having a slow morning is gonna be nice and then i um decided i was just gonna go ahead and film just little clips of y'all what i was gonna be doing today but i was starting out making my oatmeal and i've told y'all before i don't use oatmeal out of a packet anymore that quaker oats and all I always buy organic oatmeal because um oats are like the most heaviest sprayed with chemicals I decided that's one thing I could do was get that out of our house and just make my own oatmeal and it tastes really good. So I have my oats here and then I use my red wolf berries and I put it all in here and then I'm going to use my water that I heated up. And then I'm probably going to have to add some more oats so that I always overfill it and I do not like soupy oatmeal. And then I'm going to use my honey from Tracy's farm, Just Dig It Farms. And Tracy works with me at Petals for the Past. I talk about her all the time. And y'all have got to go follow her. She actually just did a weekend vlog and she showed how her and her husband, Dean, and his parents harvested their honey. And so y'all will love watching her video. She is such a wonderful Christian lady. So I'm gonna be using her honey. I put some in here and I drizzle that in here. And then I'm actually gonna use my all natural stevia. So I just like to drop a few drops in here, whoops. Add some honey to it and we'll be ready to go. I drizzled some honey in there, kind of stuck to the side. I need to clean out that honey and put some fresh honey in it, but this is gonna be so good. And then this little terracotta pot, I have this link to my Amazon shop. I had that um, down below and it's a little terracotta mug and I think they're so cute. So I went ahead and linked those for y'all. I saw something like this in a store, but they had like a um, print right here and it wasn't very pretty so I was like I bet I can find some terracotta mugs on Amazon and sure enough I did so I got two of them for ten dollars but these are so cute to me that's what I'm gonna eat my oatmeal in today I have that beautiful aria going in the background I'm sure that you've heard it I love having the spa music on when I'm just at home alone if Drew's here I have to turn it off because I don't know I'm so weird about having noises on in the background whenever somebody's home and like trying to talk to me and stuff it's like I cannot hear I think I'm getting older and I'm kind of not really losing my hearing but if there's other noises going on when somebody's trying to talk to me I cannot hear so I love having the Aria whenever I'm home by myself but whenever Drew gets home and it's not time we have to turn it off because we can't hear each other or you could actually turn the volume on volume down on it though but I just turn it off but in the morning times with it going and this awesome scent going. I have um, all the citrus ones. I have lemon, lime, grapefruit, and I put a, a ylang ylang in it. Or ylang ylang, however you say it. But um, I have that going in here. The birds are flying by. And then I want to, I can't reach that, but I want to do some outside work whenever Drew gets home. He, he got home yesterday and he cut the grass. He's been working crazy hours at work. So we haven't had time to really tend to the yard, but he cut the grass yesterday and then I want to do some yard work today and I want him to bring the ladder up here so I can fill my hummingbird feeder up. Um, because my friend Kylie has been showing off her hummingbirds at her house and it's made me jealous. So I want to get that filled up today and I'm going to make my own. I'm not going to use that dye. Um, stuff that you can get at like the stores. I'm going to just make warm sugar water. And so hopefully I'll do that today. But right now I'm going to eat my oatmeal. A few tomatoes from the garden. Maddie Jip, come here. Come here. They just got inside from being outside using the bathroom. And they need a haircut. They have one scheduled for June 3rd. 
but they are fluffy right now. They are fluffy, fluffy, and we're hot. Here's Miss Miss, Miss Missy. And then I don't know where the big cat is, big boy. She's so cute. She actually had kittens. If you follow me on Instagram, then you saw the kittens that she had. She had four, and two of them didn't make it. We don't know what happened to the other one, but one made it. It was sad, but one's doing good. Yeah, and she's so sweet, and she loves the dog. She's like a dog. Usually, I'm scared of cats, but she's just sweet. She's precious. She loves playing outside with the dogs, too. Um, the mail lady got here, and uh, I have these wood hangers that came in that I've been wanting to get for Drew's side of the closet. So, I think I'm going to go put those up real quick. Going on in here. I hate wire hangers. They're so messy. So, I'm going to put his work stuff on these wooden hangers. And then, whenever I got this the other day at the thrift store, um, I put this nice little bottle that I made up with my essential oils. This has witch hazel in it. Half witch hazel, half water. And then I put, um, what did I put in here? Hmm. I found the recipe on uh, Pinterest. I think it was some lime, some bergamot, jasmine, ylang ylang. I'm missing an oil. But that's what I did to this. And it smells really good. You can look up perfume, uh, Young Living Perfume Blends on Pinterest and find one that you think you will like. This one smells really good. And then I have another bottle, like I said, coming in like this one. And a little roller bottle. So when I get my bottles on here, it'll be really cute. But I'm going to go ahead and put these hangers up here. See if this makes it look any better. Okay, so that looks much better just having the wooden ones. I have these two over here. I'm going to see if I can get rid of or if Drew's going to have a fit if I do. I am going to have to order some more wooden hangers though because he has some more clothes um, that have not been washed yet. So I got to order another pack of those wood hangers. But that just makes me feel better. They just hang so much more nicer that they don't get all like um, tangled up together. So I'm happy about this. Well, do y'all love my new shelf? The yellow is gorgeous. I think I'm going to keep it yellow like this. I didn't ever think I would. I am totally kidding. I know some of y'all right now are like, what? That is not your style. Y'all, I hung this up and then I had to leave for the day. And um, I was just seeing if I even liked it here before I painted it. And Drew did not even notice this. I was like, how did you not notice the big bird yellow shelf hanging in between our mirrors? He does not pay attention. So, I kind of threw some stuff up there. I love having this plant drape um, on it. So, I'm just loving the way that it looks. It changed it a little bit. Um, you saw um, this used to be hanging there. So, I think i got to find another place for this for now because I am loving how it looks right here. Just something different. And this used to be on Drew's side. This one was on my side. It kind of gets things off the countertop. So, I love this. So, I'm about to go experiment on painting this, figuring out a color. Now, I know a lot of people are saying to do it white. I did a poll on my Instagram and um, I was debating on between white and a green color, and a lot of y'all said white, but um, a lot of y'all said green too. But I'm thinking a green because I want it to pop, and if I don't like it, I can always go back and paint it white. And I don't feel like going to the store, so I have green paint and white paint, so we're about to mix it together and come up with a color. And y'all are going to watch me paint this and decorate this. I'm sitting in here, and I'm going to clean it off because it's disgusting. So we're going to clean it and then paint it. Ugh, I hate having to bring home stuff from the thrift store. Probably should already clean this before I hung it up on the wall, but just wanted to see if I liked it there first. Because if not, I was going to put this up in storage and it was going to go in my little garden shed. And it may go there at some point, but right now it's going in the bathroom to change some things up. So here's the paint that I have out. I have this paint um, that I've been painting my chalkboards with. I kind of painted that table with this, like lightly brushed it in the office. But I thought I was going to lighten it up, so I brought my white in here. But then I thought I might want to make it dark. But I don't know. Let's just do this. I know I don't want it this color because I don't like having a bunch of the same shades in my house. It looks like I just went there and painted everything. But I don't know if I want it darker or lighter than this. Oh my gosh, it's not even pulling up through this yellow. Maybe I need to do... A dark green. Now here is the first coat. I didn't mix it up. It was so bright yellow that I decided just to paint it with this green one coat just to kind of mute it down a little bit because I was a little bit nervous it wasn't going to paint um, that well. This is chalkboard paint, so I guess it is a form of a chalk paint. Y'all, I will paint with whatever now. 
I used to be so particular with mixing up paint the right way and I just don't even care anymore. It's gonna paint. We're gonna paint it and let her eat. So that looks good. That first coat, I forgot that whenever I did the um, green in the office, I actually put a lot of white in it. So it will be a different green. So I think what I'm gonna do is let this dry for a minute and then I'm gonna put another layer of paint on it and see what it looks like. Cause I think it's just gonna look good in the color that I will like. And I know a lot of y'all are like, oh my gosh, freaking out cause I didn't put on newspaper, trash bags, anything. But y'all this like wipes right up whenever I use my thieves cleaner. So I don't even have to get anything out. I just use this. So I'm gonna paint it on here. And this is not even like real. This is like a four mica or floor mica. I don't know how you say that. Anyway, so I'm not even worried about it. I've painted on this thing so many times and I just take my cleaner spray it off, wipe it down, it's good to go. I don't have to drag out all those newspapers and mess. So I'm gonna let that dry for a minute and then put another coat on it and see if I like it that color green. If not, then I can mix up a darker green, um, which is what I was thinking I was gonna want anyway, because I don't think I was gonna be able to do a light green with this yellow. So I think it's gonna Here's be the second cut. I think that looks so much better. And I think it's gonna be so pretty whenever I get it hung in the bathroom. I get some decorations on it. So now I'm gonna wait for this coat to dry and then I gotta flip it over and paint the bottom side and then this shelf and that won't take me long at all and then i will be done actually you know what it did not take me long at all to paint that flat surface so i think i can just go ahead and paint this while this other part dries i'm excited to get rid of that big bird yellow that was hideous all right finish the shelf it's outside drying so i'm gonna show you i'm gonna wipe this up Kind of gets in the cracks of it, so whenever you let it sit for just a minute, it wipes right clean. Then I'll pick up the rest of this paint here in a minute. So I literally have my shirt on inside out and backwards. That's how I paint. Anyway, so I have my shelf done. I think I'm loving the color of it. I'm waiting to see what it's going to look like whenever I put my plant up there and decorate it. But it's still got to dry a little bit. Some of the shelves have to dry. So once they dry a little bit, then we'll start decorating it. And look at the holes in my wall. Just pretend that those aren't kind of dry. So I put my plant up there. I have some of my oils. This is actually the oils that Drew uses. And then I have mine. These used to sit down on my countertops like I told y'all. And I wanted them off the countertop so it was easier to clean. So I decided to put all this up here. And then I got to find some other stuff to go up here. I think this is gonna turn out pretty cute. And I love this wicker stuff. So this is what it looks like so far. And I'm loving the green. I was worried I was gonna want it to be white, but I just like the pop of color. Okay, here is the final look. And I love how it turned out. I was worried about the green, um, just because I'm not used to painting furniture green, but man, I'm just loving the green lately. It matches all my plants. I'm loving my lamp and how simple everything looks. I think it turned out so cute. Now I need to find, well, shut this cabinet. Now I just need to find where I'm gonna put um, the little picture that used to be here. Still love that piece, so maybe I can find a place. So maybe I can find a place in my bathroom or in the bedroom to put it, but I think that it turned out cute. So y'all let me know which one that y'all liked better because I can always change things again if y'all like my green shelf or if y'all liked the way that it used to be with the little uh, wood palette and the sign in the cotton wreath. Y'all let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, if you love these kind of videos, please um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And then also don't forget to look down below in the description box and go through and watch all the other ladies videos today that are doing this flipping Friday. I hope that y'all have a great weekend and I will see y'all on the next one.